We are given two circles touching each other at this point, inscribed inside a rectangle of length 16 units and width 18 units. We are to find the radius of the small circle. Now let us solve. Let's assign letters to these angles A, B, C, and D. Now let us draw a line from the center of the circle to touch the tangent line. This line is perpendicular. So let us call this point P. Now let us also draw for the small circle from the center to touch the tangent line and let us call that point Q. Let's call here this point R and here let's call it S. The diameter of the big circle will be the length of the rectangle. The length of the rectangle is 16, so the diameter of the big circle will be 16. So PR is the radius of the circle. Since the diameter is 16, PR will be 16 divided by 2. So PR will be 8 units. Now let us join point P to Q. So when we join that, let us construct a line from Q to this point parallel to RS and let us call it T. Let us assign the length to each line. The total length down here is 18 units. PR will be the same as the radius of the big circle, so it will be 8. SD will be the same as the radius of the small circle, so we call it R. This length RS will be 18 minus 8 minus R. It will be equal to 10 minus R. So RS equals to 10 minus R. Take note, this is a rectangle. This line and this line are equal. So if this line, which is RS, equals to 10 minus R, then this line, which is TQ, will be 10 minus R. QS is also the radius of this small circle, so let's call it R. QS and TR are equal, so TR will also be R. PR equals to 8. So here, PT equals to 8 minus R. For length PQ, the radius of the big circle is 8, and the radius of the small circle is R. So line PQ will be equal to 8 plus R. So we have a right triangle here. So we will use Pythagoras theorem which says that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. So we are going to have the bracket of 8 plus R squared equals to the bracket of 10 minus R squared plus the bracket of 8 minus R squared. When we expand the bracket we have this. Now look at it, 64 is going to cancel 64. R will cancel R and we are left with this. So now let us add them up. So when we add 100 minus 20R plus R squared minus 16R minus 16R equals to zero, we are going to have R squared minus 52R plus 100 equals to zero. Now let's solve it further. Here and then we are going to factor out. We have r bracket r minus 50 equals to minus 2 bracket r minus 50 equals to 0. So now we have common. We have r minus 50 is common. We take only r minus 50 and then we have r minus 2 equals to 0. So r minus 50 equals to 0 or r minus 2 equals to 0. So r equals to 50 or r equals to 2. R equals to 50 is not possible because the radius of the bigger circle is 8. So the radius of the small circle must be smaller than 8. So we are going to reject R equals to 50. So the answer that is possible is R equals to 2. So the radius of the small circle is 2 units. If you have gained value in this lesson, kindly like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.